you know, initially with the first rounds of, of QE, um, probably right up to the, the one in 2016, it was um, around, about stimulating the economy and it did an incredibly poor job um, because it relies essentially on trickle-down economics, the wealth effect, uh, which is extremely poor at stimulating the economy. You know, it relies on the wealthiest in society getting richer and, and spending some money and, and it just simply doesn't work and in fact turbocharges inequality which is what we've seen we've seen um stock markets reaching all-time highs in the last uh 10 years at the same time as seeing you know poverty steadily increasing food bank use steadily increasing this tells us that our economy is extremely dysfunctional quite a deep structural level and, and qe to an extent it's just adding to that by increasing the asset prices and not doing anything for um, getting money into the real economy, productive economy, and helping with uh, wages. Um, and the other way, apart from getting money in through public spending, is thinking about our banking sector, which does an incredibly poor job of getting money into the real economy. It simply isn't fit for purpose, you know, despite economic textbooks saying what banks do is taking money from savers and lend to businesses. They actually create money and they create most of it to go into finance and property in the UK. And, and you know, we've seen not much of a change in the last decade since the crash, despite having quite a wide public conversation about banks not being fit for purpose. So we do need to um, actually you know, maybe use the opportunity of, of Brexit to think about how we get our banking sector to really serve our domestic economy.